Christ, what a morning. One, two, one, two. We got the levels. Yeah, good. Hey, uh, Fruitcake, tell that coffee kid to bring me a coffee. Double black, no wings. Oh, you can't call him the coffee kid anymore. What the hell are you talking about? Why not? Because he doesn't want to be called that anymore. He wants to be called the coffee boy. Jesus Christ, Fruitcake. You tell that little pistachio nut that this is a progressive radio station and we're not going to gender the position because of little dicky coffee pot's feelings. And you also tell him to bring me a coffee. Triple black, no wings. All right, give me the countdown. What? We're on the air right now? Oh, fuck. Imagine waking up, and one of the first things you realize is that it's you. You're not anybody else. You're you. How does that make you feel? Oh, you must feel like a loser. I mean, I'm calling you a loser. Are you calling yourself a loser? Even your dad calls you a loser. And so does my dad. And so does your dad's brother, your uncle. He thinks you're a loser. Oh, he thinks you're a big loser. Don't you want to impress them? Don't you want to go out every weekend and play football or go fishing with them? but you're too much of a loser. All you do is stay home and watch these videos. You're a loser. That sucks. Hello, good morning. I'm Borg Luthra, and you're listening to Signal Return. I apologize for how we start the show today. Very unprofessional. Now, Here's some music. Sitting in the bathroom. Sitting in the bathroom. Sitting in a stall. Sitting in a stall in a bathroom. Sitting in a stall in the bathroom. Making doo doo cause I'm sitting in the bathroom. Sitting in the bathroom. Sitting in the bathroom, reading my phone. Sitting in the bathroom, in the stall, reading my phone. Signal Return is brought to you by Miracle Whip, Spunk in a Jar, and Toyota, We Build Cars. We're going to dive right back in with another song. I don't like this one. I'm slowly losing touch with all my old friends. People tell me that's what happens. It's been a while since I've had a girlfriend, and it's starting to show. Going anywhere at all Cause my life is a joke 
grow quite so gray Cause I've been spending all of my time inside my mind forgetting Any reason that you might find that makes this life worth sharing Cause my life is a joke Hate that song. Hate it. Fruitcake, go tell Devin to hire someone so I can fire someone. What is your greatest professional accomplishment? I worked seven years at an ice cream shop in Hoboken. I never served a single customer. Every time I set out the flavors and scoops, I thought, this day is going to be different. Tell me about a challenge you faced at work and how you dealt with it. One day, it was... The FBI kicked down the door, handcuffed me, and shoved me into an unmarked van. They wanted to know how I became employed at the shop. I wanted to tell them, but after seven years I couldn't remember anything besides the routine. What's your dream job? Ideally something like the ice cream store. It was nice to wake up and know what to do even if it meant nothing. What other companies are you interviewing with? I talked to Geico earlier this week. They said they loved my resume and had never seen anything like it. Bashful, I explained the process of its creation, namely writing, I deserve love in Sharpie on a sheet of printer paper. They interviewed me for an hour, which I took as a good sign. But when I asked when I could start, they laughed. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm unsure I exist. I have nothing to live for. If you stabbed me, I'd feel nothing and bleed dust. How did you hear about this position? I didn't. I send out applications blind. I wake up angry, chug three cups of coffee, and shoot off as many copies of my resume as I can before I collapse. What do you know about this company? Not a thing. In my mind, it's the same as the last 15 I've talked to. Just please, give me something to do. Where do you see yourself in five years? With any luck, dying quietly during an accident in my home. That'll be nice to have a home. What is your greatest professional strength? Honesty. What is your greatest professional weakness? Honesty. Yeah! Yo, you ever wondered what an image of a dick sounded like? <coughs> now you know. Ha! <laughs> you have two new messages. You have a message received today at 11.40 a.m. Hey Mikey, it's Jerry from Sales. Look, I got great news. We got a lot of money coming in from that gorilla show that you and I are putting together out by the docks at the eBay convention. Look, uh, a lot of people are liking gorillas these days, apparently, as you can tell by the upswing in Donkey Kong Country sales, and uh, I think that we really hit that market. It's looking good for us, so I can give you the, uh, the, the, the document I have here. Just uh, I'll ping you in my email and maybe you can take a look at it, but it's looking good. I'm really excited for this business venture. The gorilla's looking a little, uh, green under the gills, if you know what I'm saying. I don't even know why this gorilla has gills, but it's kind of weirding me out. I think it's uh, starting to grow a third eye or something, but maybe you should come over here and take a look at it, too, if you ever have time. It could, uh, could be serious. Anyway, uh, it's eating all my pencils. I don't know if gorillas are supposed to do that. Anyway, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Just, uh, talk to me when you can. Catch you later. Your message will be saved for 30 days. You have a message received today at 11.42 a.m. Hey, Mikey, me again. Sorry to call at such late notice, but I found out what's wrong with the gorilla. It turns out it's actually not a gorilla, but it's uh, some sort of weird eldritch being sent from another dimension to enslave all humanity. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Talk to you some other time. Bye. So I uh, finally fought my way into the control room, and I realized that I have no fucking clue 
what any of these buttons do. Like this? This uh this switch right here? No fucking clue what it does. There's like there's like a uh, all these dials. These dials I can turn them back and forth. Some are smooth. Like this one. Some are uh some are nice and rigid. Got a good little flavor right there. But otherwise I don't know I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm just I'm just gonna figure this shit out as I go. It's I don't think you were supposed to hear all that. Sorry, our new audio engineer isn't very good. We might fire him too. Go make a sandwich. We have some sponsor messages coming up. What do you mean I can't say that? It's the year 2050. In America, thousands of war veterans remain homeless. Many have died this way, and many still are left behind despite serving this country decades ago. As these heroes grow in age, so grows their need for access to resources tailored to the unique complications of wartime trauma worsened with time. Do you know of any heroes in need? Have you thought about how we as Americans can extend a hand as a nation worthy of this sacrifice? Well, look no further than Geriatric Stand! Built on the once desiccated husk of lands annexed between Afghanistan and Pakistan, Geriatric Stan is a vibrant, full-service resort and game preserve. In Geriatric Stan, guests will enjoy such activities as fully staffed village obstacle courses, where guests must successfully complete circuits through the muddy, filth-trothed streets in pursuit of the insurgency. Though their once keen senses have deteriorated, guests will find relief in knowing that there are no in-game penalties imposed for misidentification. Any and all insurgents claimed count toward your score. We at Geriatric Stan acknowledge the sacrifices that you have made. For this, your stay will be an all expenses paid, stay as long as you want, home away from home! Don't delay! Do not withdraw. Geriatric Stan is where you belong! Geriatric Stan is not responsible for any communication in their loved ones' experience while contacting staff. Geriatric Stan is a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin and Halliburton of tax exempt status. Geriatric Stan mandates a provisional stay of two years or more prior to the release or extension of existing guest contracts. You know, an arm is really just a leg if you think about it hard enough. You can take that one to the bank. Me, I'm going to the bank. Catch you next time on Signal Return. I want to go home and Dad, play with my dog. I, I don't I'm like it here. Home. It's okay, kids. Just be a little longer. Just cash this check and then we'll be fine. Right, honey? That's right, sweetie. It won't be too much longer, kids. Okay, next in line, please. <sighs> Final. All right, sir, how can I help you today? Hey, my name's Daryl. I just need to deposit this. All right, everybody, get on the heck of the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! All right, if one of you makes a move I don't like, I'm gonna blow your brains out all over the goddamn floors! All right, you schmuckhead behind the counter! Put your money in the frickin' bag! Okay, okay, okay. Just please don't fucking shoot me. Hey, what the fuck are you looking at? Uh, me? Yeah, you with the goddamn shitty ass face! Uh, 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 What's your name? Uh, What's your name? What's your name, you fat fucking dumpling? D -d Danny. Danny? Okay, Danny. What's what's that you got in your hand, Danny? Oh well, okay, Danny. Well, on this check it says Daryl, so I'm gonna call you Daryl. Is that fine with you, Daryl? I don't give a fuck if that's fine with you, Daryl. Daryl, I need you. You know what? With that shitty fucking face, I need you to do something for me, Daryl. I need you to do something for me, Daryl. I need you to shit your pants, Daryl. I need a Jimmy Dean coming out of your Jimmy jeans, Daryl. I need a brown nose coming out of your prison pocket. I need you to shit your pants so hard you cry. I don't think I can. I don't think I can.
I can. I don't think I can. Well, if you can, then I'm gonna blow your wife's brains out all over the floor. You fucking asshole! Please, for the love of God, just shit yourself. Okay. Okay. With the morning sun It's time to start my day I'm gonna make a pizza It's gonna taste so great Pepperoni An olive slice Some anchovies <laughs> Won't that be nice? <laughs> Put it all on top of the cheese Put that sucker in the oven, please. I try to make a pizza every day, but I've always failed. But this'll be the one. This'll be the pizza that I nailed. God damn it. I don't have any oven mitts. I can't believe I keep forgetting to buy oven mitts. Even though I burned all of my pizzas in the oven, I still forgot to buy oven mitts, so I can't take it out. Uh, the pizza's too hot. It's in the oven, and I can't take it out, because I don't own oven mitts. I'm gonna try. Here I go. Ouch! Oh, ooh, ooh! I hurt my hands. My hands are covered in blisters, and I'm bleeding all over my pizza. Thank you. Didn't wash their hands when they left the bathroom. Didn't wash their hands when they left the bathroom. Didn't wash their hands when they left the bathroom. Didn't wash their hands when they left the bathroom. Didn't wash their hands, didn't wash their hands, didn't wash their hands, didn't wash their hands, didn't wash the didn't wash the didn't wash the hands, 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 didn't wash the didn't wash the hands, 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 didn't wash the hands.
single return.